coming up right now, wild video captures referees brawling at a fourth graders basketball game. Also coming up, it's the tell us you're from Australia without telling us you're from Australia <laughs> Zoom interview. A little bit later on, it's uh, actually a new laughing matter for one Saturday Night Live cast member. The latest on his mental health. Daily Flash Charts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. I'm Mitch English, welcoming you to Daily Flash. We are so excited to have you here as we rode through and uh, of course with the radio on, I'm jamming all the way here. Can you, and when you're at a stoplight, can you jam with a Christmas song on? Absolutely. Yes. You're allowed to do 100%. that? 100%. You're totally allowed to do right, that. Matt, but do you yeah. have a favorite Christmas song you jam out there? You know, I found a new one that I started rocking out to, and it's William Shatner with Billy, uh, Billy Gibbons doing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> no way. Here's my favorite line <laughs> from it, and Shatner? excuse my, my Shatner impersonation. Sure, sure. Dude, you're going to go down, down in history. Down in history. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm going to have to tune that in. Anything Shatner, I'll rock out to. Anything All Shatner. Right. Okay. All right. Can, so when we're next to Matt, we can hear that uh, jamming out there. Uh, so a mom has is, is got people on the internet talking. She uh, put together a device with a Ziploc bag. Now, oh. hear me out here. She says it's the only way to calm her kids down in the car. So what she does is she takes the headrest off of the, the front seats. Okay. She takes a Ziploc bag. She pokes two holes in it. She drapes it into the headrest. Okay, pulls, I'm getting you so far. Then yeah. she drops a phone in it, hits play for a movie, zips it up, puts the head oh, thing okay. back on, and says, look, they'll be entertained for hours. It's like having your own little movie screen That's in actually, the yeah, back okay. of the car. Brilliant. But she's getting heat from other people saying, Give your kids a break. They shouldn't be watching a cell phone oh, all it. the time. Well, they're also the ones that never have to take an eight, you know, a trip. <laughs> I've had four kids. I've had four kids, th three boys and one girl uh -huh. a a in a car. And sometimes you, you got to have a device. Now, when I was a kid, we didn't have anything like that. Yeah. And we were just as rowdy. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and we also knew there was a point where my dad would not turn the car around and go back home. <laughs> So after that point, that's when we started behaving. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, if you're doing it all the time, maybe that's a, an issue. But if it's something that's going to keep them quiet yeah. and make mom where she's not a total wreck driving. Exactly. Like, ah, and here's her the alone. thing. If it, if it keeps the kids calm for a couple of hours, more power okay. to her. And those same people, I'm sure you have no issues with the radio on. Oh, right? That's, that's a fair point. Well, let's, let's bounce it back in there okay. and throw it in their court like these refs did. At a basketball game for uh, basically fourth graders, it basic arms and punches were thrown and they tackled each other right in the middle of the play. We're not talking about the NBA or even college. It was all at an elementary school. Got it on camera. The brawl broke out at the Colorado court while the fourth graders played. They're actually <laughs> passing the ball. Two of the refs walk toward each other as one takes a swing before wow. a third runs over and tries to tackle the other to the ground. Two men in plain clothes run onto the court, try to break it all up. One actually holds a ref back. The other two wrestle down to the floor. Fourth ref runs in, tries to calm the situation. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt. No kids or parents were involved. The three referees have all been suspended. They should probably be taken off the court wow. altogether. Jeez. This is what we're, we're, you know, we have to show our kids. We want them to uh, behave and not fight. And now you're seeing the refs do that. What are they supposed to think, right? Did they forget that it was a fourth grade basketball tournament fourth... and not MMA? Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to know what it was all about. That's oh, the I know, whole thing. Right? Yeah. It, it was like, what caused it? That, that starts with it. a Yo Mama joke. I guarantee you a mo Yo Mama joke started that whole thing. Because that, that's the type of fights I used to get in on the basketball court. So, some, something, something happened stupid. before that. I threw yeah. a shoe at a ref once. So, I mean, it happens. <laughs> did it come back? Did, did I mean, I got it. Oh, okay. Did you get suspended? <laughs> For a little bit. Yeah, I we took care of it. Uh, well, it. Well, it's nice to see that the kids are more adult than the adults are in that it's situation. Very well, uh, right? happy to see that. Well, let's take a trip uh, down under and see how an on camera discussion for an Australian podcast was interrupted when a large snake emerged from the roof behind a person's <laughs> back. Take a look. There are a lot of sophisticated brainwashing seas out there. What do you do the I snake behind you? I do. Right? Snake. <laughs> like I did. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, Andrew Ward was being interviewed when a snake emerged from the roof of the p pavilion right behind him. He paused to take a look at the serpent, but oh, he's just caught. enjoying it. Right? No, no. Carpet <laughs> pythons are non-venomous snakes that are often kept as pets in Australia. It's like nothing to him. I like how the snake just slowly dropped into the picture. <laughs> No, I would I would lose my cookies if that were. I mean, me. look, I guess it's a regional thing here. We have, you know, in in Florida, we have a bunch of random reptiles that pop up every once in a while. I go, eh, like I, I'll pet a gator all day, but I'm not dealing with snakes. Yeah, Mish, thoughts? I, there's something called carpet pythons, which means car <laughs> they're inside the house. Yeah. I'm never going to Australia. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, there's no way. I love the guy who was just like, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah whatever. So yeah. what? I mean, y'all know me. I would be like freaking out. I'd be I'd, Indiana Jonesing that. You wouldn't even be seeing me anywhere near that. He's all next that question. Much. Yeah, he's sure. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat pass. <laughs> snake, huh? I'm gonna go pet it. No, you're not. I would be all over. Hey, it's just a carpet python, huh? All right, let's move on to Saturday Night Live. The star there, Bowen Yang, he said that he's actually improving after taking a break from his podcast to work on his mental health. The 33-year-old Fire Island star announced in July that he needed to take some time away to take care of what he calls depersonalization. Now, experts describe it as a psychological condition where people have out-of-body out experiences that cause them to believe that the things that are around them, they're not real. The disorder is more common for people who have actually suffered from trauma. Yang, he is gay, openly gay. He says that he was traumatized by his parents after they sent him to a conversion therapy when he was just 17 years old. So he's taking care of his mental health, and that's the right thing to do. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, he's in a position where a lot of eyes are on him mm -hmm. to take care of himself, says a lot out there. And also, too, with his platform and being well-known on Saturday right. Night Live, maybe that uh, helps other people who might be in that similar situation. And, and, yeah, and humor. You're, yeah. You think funny people, uh, their, their life is great. They're usually the ones that are most uh, uh, victimized, yeah. or, or they have, they're holding back a lot. Can Morley Simmons thank California firefighters who saved her family. The 48-year-old mother of five revealed on social media that her house caught fire. First responders from the LA Fire Department arrived moments later following a 911 That's call. Kamali? Yes, okay. she looks gorgeous. The former model and ex-wife of Russell Simmons shared snaps of the firefighter standing in what appeared to be her living room. The carpet was rolled back and fire debris was scattered on the floor in front of her fireplace. No word on how the fire started, but thankfully no one was hurt. That is good news to see yeah. that. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm sure Russell, when he saw the house that he paid for being burnt down. <laughs> he wasn't he happy was, about it. He wasn't happy about it. <laughs> about it. All that money. Yeah. So. <laughs> I move on. All right. You consider yourself a foodie? Do you? Yes, sure. Good. All right. Well, you know, the world of fine dining can actually put a huge dent on your bank account. Mm -hmm. So we thought it'd be actually kind of fun to list the five most expensive foods in the world. And if you would try them, okay? Okay. Let's, yep. let's see this. Here we go. Here we go. Let's start with the most expensive side of French fries. These golden fried strips will set you back 200 bucks at Serendipity 3 in New York City. They're famous for their frozen hot chocolate. Oh, really? So what okay. makes them so expensive? The ingredients, of course. They include Dom Perignon Champagne, shaved black summer truffles from Italy, and 23 carats edible <laughs> gold dust. I bet you a lot of those things are going to have the gold dust what does it? What does gold does taste like is, um, it, is it tasty i know and gold schlager is at the bottom of it and it's really just cheap crappy liquor with that they uh, will throw some flakes yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't add anything it to sounds it. like it yeah <laughs> you know I, I, I think it's just the fact that it's gold and so we think oh it's got to be better yeah. with gold on it everything else exactly. all right how about a 214 dollars mm. sandwich to go with those fries serendipity three also features the quintessential grilled cheese it's covered in 24 karat gold. <laughs> <laughs> it also features a champagne bread made with Dom Perignon. It's also made with truffle oil and fancy French cheese. That truffles uh, are are expensive because they're so hard to find. I can understand that, but why would you would want to $200 and the gold? It, the, I don't know if it complements each other. On a grilled cheese. I'm On a grilled sure. cheese, right. Uh, now we head to South Carolina for the most expensive crab cake. The chef at the Twist Restaurants is the opulent seafood creation. Features king crab meat, butter, herbs, black truffles, Truffle. platinum leaves, and platinum dust. The price, $310. I'm feeling that one. Platinum, wow. Yeah. All, right. All right, if you thought those dishes were pricey, how about the most expensive ice cream in the world? This ice cream scoop will set you back nearly seven grand. It's a Japanese treat. It uses a white truffle found only in Italy. 
rare ingredients add to the ice cream's hefty price tag. And we wrap up our pricey food tour with the most expensive cheese in the world. This five pound wheel of blue cheese was recently auctioned for a record breaking $32,000. Wow. So what makes it so expensive? The cheese is aged in the mountain caves of Spain. And cheese is not cheap at all, no. especially a big old wheel of cheese like that. I can yeah. see how that can get up there. All right, we have plenty of cheese for you, don't we, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> that is when we return. Do you know the saying, laughter is the best medicine? We're gonna tell you why right after this. Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. No doubt that we all know that laughter is the best medicine, right? But can it also improve your company's bottom line? Joining us now is professional comedian Clayton Fletcher. He's got a new comedy special. It's on Amazon Prime. It's coming out in January. It's called Middle Child Syndrome. And he's also recently co-authored a book. It's called The ROI of LOL, How Laughter Breaks Down Walls, Drives Compelling Storytelling, and Creates a Healthy Workplace. Clayton, thank you for joining us here on this show. This is fascinating because everybody works, or that's watching, that works, can appreciate humor. But sometimes we think, well, this is a place of business. We're supposed to be professional. Is breaking down those walls and actually offering humor into the audience of uh, your, your coworkers really a good thing after all? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, first off, Mitch, thanks for, for having me on. Uh, this book is about telling the truth and being authentic in your personality, bring your personality to work with you. So it's not so much about, you know, being the office jokester, the guy that just can't <laughs> help himself making every stupid joke all day long, but really just about, you know, sharing the, you know, the lighter side of things at all at the office with your coworkers. And yeah, we've been doing this for 15 years, my co-author, Steve Cody and I, and yeah, we find that Laughter is very important at work. You know, I would imagine being a boss, when you hear this first off, you would think, I don't know, we, we're, this is a serious business, but it really can break down a lot of walls, as I mentioned. And you have three tips that actually help lighten up the workday with our humor. Let's talk about the first one, telling the truth. How so? Explain that. Yeah, so, you know, you might think, well, if you're going to be funny at work, you got to come in and tell everybody a joke that starts off three guys walk into a bar right. or some other sort of, you know, kind of set up like that. But what we're really exploring is about just finding the things that happen each and every day that might be a little bit stressful, that might be a little imperfect, and just kind of getting through those more difficult times by using the power of laughter. It releases uh, endorphins, it helps you feel better, it releases stress, and bonds human beings in a way that no other drug can. So that's why they say laughter is the best medicine. We really get into the science of it, as well as some very specific examples in the book. All right, roasting yourself. Are we talking about self-deprecation here? <laughs> yeah, very much so. I mean, uh, for some people, you know, humor is about putting people down or making fun of other people. And what we try to do is teach you how to be what we call in comedy, self-deprecating. So you find out what's funny about you, what's imperfect about you. And if you really like to put somebody down, put down yourself. That way you don't have to worry about offending anybody else. And you're showing everybody, hey, everybody, it's okay to laugh. And the higher up the food chain, the leader uh, who uh, practices this, is the better it is for everyone else because it kind of sends a message to everyone else. In this place of business, we take our job very seriously, but we don't take ourselves too right. seriously. And that's what this is really all yeah, about. I think it opens up, it says that you have more confidence in yourself if you're able to, to do that. Uh, but if you do it too much, I can imagine it being a problem. So you have to be, I would imagine sporadically or, or effectively rather, would be the best. You mentioned stand-up comedy and your third tip actually is basically about a callback. You say, call it back. Explain how I can do a callback in real life. Yeah, so a callback in stand-up is when, when we, and you've all seen comedians do this, yeah. when we refer back to something that's already been referenced at some point, either by me or by someone in the audience or by one of the other comedians even. Anytime a joke's already been made and then you kind of reference that joke again, it gets everybody laughing again. And the reason why this is so effective, Mitch, is because it creates a feeling of almost like an inside joke and the audience loves it because they feel like they're on the inside. Yeah. And we all love that feeling of like, yeah, I get it. I know why he said that. And so we do the same thing at work and we teach all the companies that we train um, with our comedy training program. We teach them how to kind of build bonds with other people and make meaningful connections beyond what we're used to in the office, like hanging out at the water cooler, talking about the weather or what the local sports team did last night. We make 
uh, real memories together by laughing together about things that we already agree are funny. I would imagine it also tells them, hey, I'm listening to what you had to say. Thank you, Clayton, so much. And if you want to uh, learn more about applying humor in your business or actually get a copy of the book, just visit ROILOL.com. There's all the information you can get. We'll have this info on our website. You can check it out at dailyflashshow.com. Well, Christmas is just a few days away. It's time to start planning the ultimate holiday menu. We've got celebrity chef Claire Robinson. has got some unique ideas for cooking as well as entertaining. Thanks for having me. Let's start with flavor. I like to enhance my holiday and winter dishes with College Inn broths and stocks. The brand is beloved by chefs and home cooks alike, and it's celebrating its 100 years anniversary of adding rich flavor to any dish you make from mashed potatoes to carrots and roasts. Ranging from chicken broth and beef bone broth to vegetable stock, Collagen is made with a blend of farm-grown vegetables, quality chicken or beef, and unique seasonings. They come in organic, reduced sodium, and 99% fat-free options. Available at Walmart and local retailers near you. Visit collagen.com for more. Now let's go to dessert. President whipped cream is my secret weapon for elevating holiday desserts. From pies to brownies to my favorite, hot chocolate, its authentic gourmet French style actually reminds me of restaurant grade whipped cream with a long lasting hold from the kitchen to the plate without all the work of hand whipping. It contains only the highest quality ingredients and no corn syrup. Available in original with Madagascar vanilla and extra creamy. At select stores across the U.S. and online at cheesetoyou.com. Make your holiday even sweeter and more delicious with Del Monte's ready-to-eat canned fruits. They are an easy way to introduce fruits to your favorite holiday recipes, all while getting your daily fruit intake. Plus, they're non-GMO and free from preservatives. Tons of options here, like sliced peaches and 100% juice, no sugar added sliced pears, and deluxe gold pineapple. You can use them in appetizers, sides, and desserts like pear berry buckle cake. You can even enjoy them as a snack straight out of the can. Available at Walmart and a grocery store near you. Head over to delmonte.com for recipes and more. Welcome back to Daily Flash. A recent study found 83% of Americans are last minute holiday shoppers. Lizzie Post from the Emily Post Institute has some great advice for buying on a budget with little time to spare. This holiday season, you might find yourself in good company if you are shopping last minute. Walgreens research showed that 83% of Americans shop for last minute gifts, so please don't fret, you are not alone. One of the reasons we were so happy at Emily Post to partner with Walgreens this holiday season was because not only do they have amazing convenience being open both on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but you can make sure that your last minute shopping is still personal. Walgreens has an amazing selection of items that can be personalized, whether that's with a photo from your own collection or with a monogram or even someone's name. It's really easy to be able to pick up something special the same day. You don't have to worry about it looking like a last minute gift. We get asked a lot at the Emily Post Institute about what to do when someone gives you a gift and you don't have one in return. It can be a pretty nerve wracking moment, but you are not alone. 73% of Americans find themselves in this situation and we are here to tell you that a little gratitude goes a long way to easing the awkwardness. Simply say thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you thinking of me. Oh, what a surprise. This was so thoughtful of you. It's that easy. You don't have to make up a lie about the gift being on its way or that you didn't think you were exchanging gifts with this person this year. Gift giving is not about reciprocity. It's about sharing. So be sure to focus on the moment and the gift that you've been given by saying thank you. Now, don't forget when you are out making your rounds to pick up wrappings for your gift, present your present in a beautiful package with a lovely card is an excellent way to go and you can certainly pick up your package at Walgreens. For right now you can visit walgreens.com to check out their 12 days of deals. 
Welcome to your holiday edition of Daily Digits. And this week for the Christmas weekend, we start with 822. Now, in order for Santa, which we all know and love, to get those gifts under your tree this year, Santa will have to visit 822 homes a second to deliver the presents all around the world on Christmas Eve. That's also him going 650 miles a second. And if we know anything about Santa, he knows definitely how to get it done. Your next number is 975. That's $975 you all are shelling out this year for Christmas. That's how much a Gallup poll found that Americans will spend on Christmas or other gifts this year. That exceeds consumer holiday spending by over $100 from last year. The reasons include inflation, and many Americans say they're just feeling more festive after being locked up for the last three years, and uh, I think we all know how that's been. And your last number today is three million, and that's how much uh, this song uh, makes this artist every year. Yeah, if you worked retail at all, that song makes you just cringe. But it's estimated that Mariah Carey makes about $3 million a year off that sum. Now, the sum of how much she makes goes up during the years when Carey performs Christmas concerts and tours, as well as if she does any holiday specials or product endorsements. And it's reported that she won't even show up for less than a million dollars. Guys, I mean, $3 million on that song every year to basically sit back and do nothing. That's what the beauty of Christmas songs are. People yeah. are like, that's why so many people do them, because they know that they'll get aired this time of year, right? And I she co-wrote that song, didn't she, with someone? You know, and... I don't know if she, I, no, I remember it being a long time. I think it's a remake. Yeah. Ah, we'll have, to, have we'll, to look We'll up dig that. into yeah. that one. Okay, good stuff, Maddie. Uh, I mentioned Whamageddon to you. <laughs> Matt, do you know what Whamageddon is? I, I know, I know Wham. What is Whamageddon, though? So it's a Christmas, uh, it's a Christmas kind of a thing, game, kind of a game yeah, that people yeah. are playing this season. Every time you hear Wham's song, Last Christmas, that means you're out of the game. You're out of the game. So it's a matter of how long you can last without hearing that song. Now, I was out a couple months ago when I watched the George Michael documentary. That's so, almost not fair. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, so Jackson, she sends me this thing and says, hey, have you heard about Wham again? I go, this is so weird. That day, I had just said, you know, I haven't heard that song yet. <laughs> And then she said it. So then uh, somebody had given me some headphones and I put it out there. I love some Christmas music. Yeah. And uh, as God, God is my witness, the first song, no. I, I hit stop. I hit stop. So I, I heard them. Doo, 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 <laughs> and I hit stop. I was like, I don't want to hear. So am I still in? You're still okay, in. Okay, good, good. You're still in. Matt, are you in or are you out? Uh, I'm way out. I, you know, I got into all the Christmas festivities over the last week, but that Mariah Carey one. <laughs> it, it just it makes me like cringe if you right. worked retail at all you know what i'm talking about the way one though everywhere. Do, yeah. i like i think we should put money on that next year guys all right okay when we get it still on all over <laughs> for christmas night all right everybody we have more flash we're on for sure after this here they come here they come with a happy song here they come here they come let's all sing along on jingle bells jingle bells jingle jingle, 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 jingle this is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hey everybody, Mitch English here. Hi, I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. James, our producer, so we're like in a commercial break yeah. and he goes, hey man, you guys know uh, Frosty the Snowman <laughs> walks on the flesh of other snowmen? <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas, yeah, buddy. James. That comes from good parenting. I love it, I love it. That comes from good, wouldn't y'all agree? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's a new survey out. 59% of parents out there follow their own parents' advice when it comes to parenting. That's a lot. I would that think 59%, yeah. right? Yeah. So they follow what they were taught in their life. They uh, talked to 4,000 American and Canadian parents and asked them these questions. Do you follow your parents' advice or don't you? 34% believe that their parents' advice is outdated. You're saying it's just right. outdated, forget it. And uh, you know, 
uh, the opposite side of that, uh, 41% actually have different ideas about raising their kids. Here's the interesting part about it all, that 83% of those that they surveyed about this all said they actually still value their own parents and what they learn. They just say, you know what, it, it's, but the way they taught me is outdated now. But they value what their parents gave them to. So it's not that they're just like, oh, my parents are all, well, what, 17% think mm -hmm. they do, but 83% say, I'm glad what my parents had taught me, and I'm, but I feel that now it's a different time. So it's interesting, right? I, I do question whether we're kind of heading down a weird path where these kids seem to be the ones that are in charge of the household and not the parents. Spare the rod, spoil the child, are you saying? <laughs> yes, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, if it was my dad, it was cheaper to buy the Winstons by the carton than an individual. <laughs> so that's, that was the advice I got. The problem is that you couldn't put that on the back of your bike when he told you to go down to the store. Right, no, and get him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sport, go down and get me. Winston 200. <laughs> <laughs> then didn't they change the legal age to buy cigarettes and that sort of changed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had to go yeah. get his own. Right. Yeah. Uh, three refs at a basketball game threw punches and tackled each other in the middle of play. This wasn't the NBA or even college. It was elementary Dear school. Lord. The brawl broke out on the Colorado court while fourth grade players were passing the ball. Two of the refs walked toward each other as one takes a swing before a third runs over and tries to tackle one to the ground. Two men in plain clothes run onto the court. They try to break it up. One holds a ref back as the other two wrestle around the floor. The fourth ref runs in to try and calm the situation. Thankfully, no one was hurt. No kids or parents were involved in this brawl. <laughs> and the three refs have all been suspended and I'm guessing likely fired. I think they should. Uh, it's just yeah. showing you uh, bad. We're trying to teach our kids about sportsmanship and just acting, uh, you know, professionally or, or just, well, the, common, the way you're supposed to treat other people, yeah. by all means. This is not a good idea. And how do you respect... Uh, uh, Somebody that you said, well, you just beat the crap out of him. Why can't I push this, this kid on the court? Think That's about that. That's a great point. All the kids standing on the sideline, they're just sort of watching in amazement. All yeah. right. I, I have some advice from you guys. If this ever, well, I'm going to show you a video, y'all. Okay. If this ever happens to me, if mm -hmm. I'm on a Zoom, don't tell me what's behind me. <laughs> okay. Because we're going to the land down under, and I want to show you how an on-camera discussion for an Australian podcast all interrupted. Well, you'll see what's behind them if you watch. Take a look. There are a lot of sophisticated brainwashing sees out there. What like, do you do the I snake can, behind you? Like I do. Right? Snake. <laughs> like I do. Okay, you can <laughs> tell they're Australian because there's, there's a snake behind you. They're all so calm. I'd be losing my mind. You know, I think just in Australia, they just have a different way <sighs> of when, when it comes to creatures and that sort of thing. Andrew Ward is being uh, interviewed and you saw basically he looks back and goes, I asked the snake, huh? And it was a carpet python. They're non-venomous. I mean, pythons wrap around you anyway, so it takes a while. That's how you kill them. But The only person I think that would react normally around here would be our friend Savannah from Gatorland. Oh, yeah. She'd be like, oh, look, I'm going to go pet she, it. She would go up and get it, yeah. <laughs> 100%. And, and I think th there's people that just, that have, you know, I think in Australia they're just used to it. It's just like if I saw a spider, it probably wouldn't bother yeah. me. I guess that's the only way that you could, I can relate. Well, here in Florida, it's, it's very, there's, there are a lot of critters. It's very buggy. And of course, we have the alligators. But I feel like Australia takes it to an entirely different Absolutely. level. <laughs> I mean, well, don't they have those wind spiders that are like this big? Yes. Those wolf spider wolf things? Spiders, yeah. That's what they're called. Yeah. I mean, like, it's regional, too. Like, out in Arizona, they see a scorpion. They go, eh, me, I go, I don't know. What is that thing? Yeah. When I moved true. to Oklahoma, they were like, when they moved down, they go, hey, watch your bathtubs because the scorpions come up the whole time. I what? never what? take no. a bath. <laughs> right. That's what they uh -huh. would tell me all the time. No. Never saw one when I lived out there at all. More flash after this. Hey everybody, welcome back to Daily Flash. Mitch English Log with Andrea Jackson hanging out with you. Need a last minute gift idea for that tech lover in your life? We got Mark Saltzman, he's got his top picks for us. I'm rocking my ugly Christmas sweater to share some last minute game and gadget gift ideas. Let's start off with the PlayStation Plus subscription service, which offers hundreds of games for PS5 and PS4 with new games added every month. There's also beloved classic games from earlier PlayStation consoles, and depending on which plan you choose, stream games on your PlayStation or PC. Get free movies and more. Prices started under $10 a month. 
If you don't yet have a PS5, they're in stock this holiday. Plus there are two new metallic DualSense controller colors to choose from for about 75 bucks a piece. If you need more storage, the WD Black SN850P NVMe is a solid state drive for PS5, officially licensed internal storage for your console that lets you store many more games with its up to four terabyte capacity. That's up to 100 games, so you don't run out of space. Pricing starts at 119 for a fast one terabyte drive and goes up from there. Speaking of the PlayStation 5, Final Fantasy 16 is the award-winning action RPG masterpiece from Square Enix, and you can get a free taste of this epic game with a playable demo available to download now. Final Fantasy 16 features an engaging storyline, deep characters, stunning graphics, and a stellar soundtrack. Prices start at $69. Next up, Konami's Super Bomberman has been an iconic franchise for decades for its simple yet addictive and family-friendly gameplay. Well, Super Bomberman R2 is now available for all major consoles and PC, which includes a single-player campaign and a new battle mode called Castle Mode, where a defending player must place traps to slow down opponents. Other fun and frantic modes include Battle 64 and Grand Prix. Plus, this $49 title also includes a stage editor as well. Next up, give the gift of streaming video with the Roku Streaming Stick 4K, now available at Roku.com and at major retailers for just $39. Simply plug it into your TV's HDMI port, join it to your Wi-Fi, and then launch your favorite streaming entertainment with exceptional picture quality. Roku is the number one TV streaming platform in the US with more than 400 free live TV channels, plus thousands of free hit movies, popular TV shows, and award-winning Roku originals of available on the Roku channel. Finally, for screen-free entertainment, StoryPod is an audio player that offers fun, engaging, and educational content that grows with the child over time. And it's also great for families with multiple kids. It plays stories, music, and skill-building content, whether it's plush crafties, tokens, books, flash and trivia cards, and recordable stickers. There's also a ton of new content, including Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig crafties for pre-order. It's $99 at StoryPod. Com. Well, there you have it, a look at some great game and gadgets for all ages, just in time for the holidays. It's not too late to find those last minute gifts on a budget. Here's smart shopping expert Trey Bosch. Hi, Trey. The holiday season is upon us and budgets are tighter than ever. Saving money is so important to reduce stress so you can focus on time with loved ones. Target makes last minute shopping easy with over 10,000 new items, all at incredible prices. With thousands of toys under $25, hundreds of beauty apparel and accessories starting at $5, and stocking stuffers starting at $1, finding the perfect gift is easy. Guests can celebrate the season with colorful apparel and accessories, including sparkly customizable handbags and rich cozy layers with prices starting at $5. For beauty lovers, exclusive Fenty Beauty items start as low as $15. This year, Target's top toys list is the most affordable yet, with items starting at $7.99, as well as exclusive products from Disney and FAO Schwartz. Plus, you can find Target's new kitchenware brand, Figment, with more than half of the collection under $10. Target's free and fast services like order pickup and drive up make holiday shopping so convenient. Check out Target.com and the Target app for the latest deals in stores and online. We have more flash and more fun after this. <laughs> hey, what if we told you there is a way to make your gift giving experience both meaningful and high tech? Here's tech expert Jessica Nazari with more. Hi everyone, happy holidays. Jessica Nazir here with the latest holiday tech gadget. One notable category is mixed reality headset devices. This is the Meta Quest 3 powered by the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 platform. Now in the realm of smartphones, this is the OnePlus Open powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform, a content creating powerhouse with a triple lens Hasselblad camera for fold and a really immersive experience. This is the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 365G 
comes with a long lasting battery of up to 26 hours powered by the Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3 compute platform. Now, the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses powered by the Snapdragon AR1 Gen 1 platform. They're versatile. You can take photos and videos, but be present onto the Google Pixel Watch 2 powered by the Snapdragon W5 Gen 1 platform. It has a wide range of health and safety features from heart rate sensing to stress detection. For more information, check out qualcom.com slash Snapdragon. Happy holidays. Heart health is always a top priority. Here's Dr. Michael Reardon with information on a new alternative to open heart surgery. More than 12% of older Americans have aortic stenosis, or AS, a severe form of heart valve disease. Early detection and treatment is vital for survival and living an active life. Traditional treatment for aortic stenosis is open heart surgery with a long and difficult recovery. New data has now shown an innovative, minimally invasive alternative, transcatheteric valve replacement, is as safe and effective as surgery with an even faster recovery. Talk with your doctor to see if TAVR is right for you. Hey, as you wrap up your holiday shopping list, there's a few things you definitely don't want to forget. For the foodies in your life, they will absolutely love Freddy's famous fry and jalapeno sauces and fry seasoning sets to bring that taste of Freddy's home to their own kitchen. And right now, I am loving these Freddy's festive sweatsuit. It's limited edition. It comes in black and gray, super cozy and nostalgic. You could find it at freddys.com. And I love the idea of gifting a recipe with all of the ingredients to make it. And this year I am gifting the recipe for my frozen banana hot chocolate made with my secret ingredient, palm pop banana fudge ice pops. Just blend some together with hot chocolate mix, milk, ice, top of whipped cream, chocolate, a really great activity to do all together. And giving gift cards has never been easier or more personalized than with giftcards.com. They have their choice multi-brand gift cards in themes like happy holidays, retail therapy, cheers to you, and my favorite, one for all that can be redeemed at over a hundred brands. And you can go to giftcards.com to send an instant e gift card. Happy holidays. With more on the ultimate last minute must haves, here's lifestyle expert, Joanne Butler. Hi, Joanne. Uh, thanks for having me. Well, let's start with some amazing tech deals from Verizon. They're really making it easy, like a one-stop shop, giving you not only huge savings on their service plans, but also some epic freebies that are some of the most coveted things actually on people's lists, like $100 off JBL Pulse 5 speakers, $40 off Sony Portable X Series Bluetooth speakers, up to $70 off Shox Open Run headphones, 25% off select Anchor chargers, and $20 off Apple AirTag 4 packs, so it's just amazing. Uh, they're also having a great promotion on Verizon Home Internet. All customers, new and existing, can switch with a five-year price guarantee, plus you'll get freebies, more freebies, an Amazon Echo Show 10 or a $200 Amazon gift card, plus an Xbox Series X and a $100 Verizon gift card. I mean, it's just amazing when I say it. I can't even believe it. Uh, and you can find these in store or online. You just head to verizon.com slash holiday. Some one or the other, so definitely get online and check it out. Again, it's verizon.com slash holiday. Uh, now, this is just an amazing gift, I think, that people wouldn't think to get for themselves, which is always kind of nice. It's the new water pick hair wand pulse spa system. And this is like a deli spa treatment for your hair and your entire body. It has 12 different spray settings, including the Power Pulse Therapeutic Strength Massage that's clinically shown to help soothe muscle tension and increase flexibility and promote a more restful sleep. Who doesn't need that? And for your scalp, it uses a pulsating comb-shaped spray right here that delivers a relaxing scalp massage. It removes visible flakes, too, and just leaves your scalp feeling really clean. And that's really the key to great-looking hair. So a great gift. Love this. And you can get it right at Home Depot com for $79.98 in chrome. It also comes in brush nickel for $89.99. And it even has this eight foot flexible hose you can use, you know, to bathe the kids or pets or even to clean the shower. I just love this long hose. And uh, there you have it. Those are some must have last minute holiday gifts for you. Get out there and get shopping. Happy holidays. <laughs> She was having fun with that thing, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I love it. All right, the AARP's Fraud Watch Network just released a warning about the latest holiday scams. Here's what you need to know. A new survey reveals that 80% of Americans have experienced at least one form of holiday fraud. So what can you do to protect yourself? Here's Kathy Stokes, AARP's Director of Fraud Prevention Programs. 
our most current research shows that more than one in four people say they've either given or received a gift card without any balance on it. And more than half say they've received a notification saying there's some problem with a delivery and it turned out to be fake. According to Stokes, criminals update their tactics often, so you have to stay current on the latest scams. The AARP Fraud Watch Network is a free resource to help proactively spot scams. It equips you with reliable and up-to-date insights and alerts on fraud prevention. Now, if you've been targeted by fraud, know that you're not alone. AARP's trained fraud specialists can help provide support and guidance and ultimately how to avoid scams in the future. To learn more, visit aarp.org slash holiday scams. Finding the perfect tech gift can be a challenge. Here's Stephanie Humphrey with more. Now it's time for my top tech list for the holiday season. AR glasses from X-Real turn whatever you're viewing from nearly any device into a 130-inch virtual big screen that you can see through what looks like a pair of sunglasses. PDI's Easy Screen wipes easily remove dirt, grime, fingerprints, and smudges. One click away on Amazon, and these wipes are great last-minute stocking stuffers for under $15. Rosetta Stone has been the language learning experts for over 30 years. A lifetime unlimited subscription is 50% off right now, making it just $1.99 and gives you access to all 25 of their languages forever. On Nextdoor's For Sale and Free section, you can find everything from gaming gear, smart TVs and fitness trackers, and everything in between. Bedshore's orthopedic dog beds are available in multiple sizes and materials, such as faux fur, soft Sherpa, and cozy flannel. With thousands of five-star reviews available at Bedshore's store on Amazon, you can get 10% off using the code BEDSHOREPETS this holiday season. Follow me on social media at Tech Lifestyle and have a happy holiday. Miss any of that? Never worry. Anything that we talk about here on the show, you can check it out on our website. It's up and running for you. Just head to dailyflashshow.com. There you'll find all shows. You'll also, of course, find links to that information that you may need, of course, and we love hearing from you. All you have to do is just click on the button. Hey, drop us an email. We want to hear from you. It's right there. Sound, Sound off. off. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Okay, a girl who's going through a tough time starts to see everyone's imaginary friends. Uh -oh. She encounters the ones who have been left behind as their real life friends grow up. This is today's must watch movie, If. Looky, looky. She is the perfect fit, I promise. Did she even see you? She was about to. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do this. Hi. Oh, God. This is just so exciting. What is happening? Well, that's a perfectly understandable question given numb. I'm an if. Get it? Imaginary friend. Our kids grew up. So we need new ones. You could save all of us. All of who? And don't say ifs. Let him say it or I think his head may actually explode. Thank you. You ready for this? There's no telling who's behind that door today. We have to help them. Yes, we do. Not gonna ask you again. Put some pants on. You're freaking everyone out. 
<laughs> Bananas in pajamas. That's what this week. Oh, Joe Krasinski from Jim from the Office. Look yes, at him, man. Yes, and Ryan Reynolds. And Ryan Reynolds on there too. Uh, but uh, Jim Krasinski is actually the one directing it. So and, that's kind of the mind behind it. All right, there you go. Yeah. Now you know what he was doing at the office all the time, <laughs> yeah. right? Writing scripts. Right, he was writing scripts. <laughs> uh, that uh, does it for our show here. We want to thank you for spending time with us. Yeah. For more information on any of today's stories, be sure to visit dailyflashshow.com. Don't be imaginary up. friends. Be our real friends. Yes. We want to hear from you. We'll be back in 23 short hours. Y'all take care. We'll see you when we look at you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.